Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Toilet Studios. I am your friendly neighborhood Starman. Welcome back to the Elden Ring walkthrough. Here we are at the Rampart Tower side of Grace here in Stormvale Castle. We're going to continue finishing exploring the, the entire legacy dungeon of Stormvale Castle. And and also have if there's some time we can try we can fight the our our main boss, Godric the Grafted. So first we're gonna go down here, take this elevator shortcut. And we don't have to worry about the grafted scion because he does not respawn. Took care of them. Took care of it in the last episode. So let's turn on our lantern because it's a little bit dark in here. And we're gonna go out here. And gonna, if you have a stone sword key to spare, use this. All right. Now we're gonna go in here. Deal with a bunch of exiled soldiers with great axe. And here we have the Hot Crest Wooden Shield. And right over here is the Misery Cord. Now this now this throat now this rapier has the best critical damage ratio. Let's take a look at the Misery Cord. Now the Misery Cord is classified as a dagger, but look at the critical ratio. 140 is the be best critical ratio. Alright, here we have the iron web blade, so now we can add some more some more scale more scalings to whenever we customize our weapons and just out here deal with this soldier there really is nothing out here just nothing all right now that that's out of the way we can now progress I'm heading over here but we're gonna go up there and deal with this this commoner who's going to throw stuff at us if we proceed forward. Alright, next we're going to go over here because there's an item to pick up. And that's some arrows, ten of them. Alright, now out here in the courtyard, out here in the courtyard there's going to be a lot of exiled soldiers, a lot of flamethrower ballistas, and then there's going to be a whistleblower, but well, we'll have to deal with them all. Yeah, it can get overwhelming. That's why I need to I need to find a place to summon my skellies. Triple kill. Hmm, got it. Ooh, I got the torch pole. Very nice. This has never dropped on me before. So now let's. Some of some of these exiled soldiers are not going to leave their bullet their their torch ballistas. So make it an easy kills for you. Smithing stone, smithing stone, nice. And all this loot, we picked up a pike. Golden rune two. Golden rune one. Here's a smoldering butterfly. Alright, here's Golden Room 2. Golden Room 4. There's three more egg salads over there. Mushroom. The guy in the Great Axe. mushroom. And right here is the Kukri. Now, it's dangerous to go down here because it's going to take you back to the main gate because there's some exiles with the ballistas with exploding bolts. So we don't want to go down there. So instead we're going to go up here and continue progressing. Let's finish off any exiles that are still out there. First we're going to take a look over here. Alright. Let's see... Alright, just up here, there's an exile soldier sitting down, and there's an item there. Here we've got some fire arrows. Here's some magic grease. 
And this one just threw a firebomb. Ooh, and we got the hood. Uh, got the exile hood. And right up here we find a wooden great shield. Alright, there's a big boy over there. Now this statue, we need to get a giant. We need to lure a giant to break that. That one's got a mongrel with it. We're not going to deal with them yet. But over here we could grab this painting. The prophecy painting. I know exactly where that is. But that's going to be another time. Oh, this guy followed me over here. Ah, oh, he kicked me. Blood loss. Uh. Alright. We need to lure a giant to break this. But that's not till later. And up here, for a calling friggin' remedy. Let's grab this summoning pool. And there's a Sight of Grace just over there, but before I go activate that, I'm going to go grab this item. Smithing Stone 1, two copies of them. Let's go ahead and light this Grace. Now this door, we cannot open from this side, but we will get to that. And that's an elevator to activate, but not worried about that. So instead we're going to go this way. We gotta deal with the with the storm hawk that's masked. A masked storm hawk. Alright, and heading over here, there's a way up. There's an item over here. And a sli and a sit and, and an exile sleeping on the job. Pick up a smithing stone too. All right, and we have another storm hawk with the mask. Oh, this is the flame, the sparks. Oh, watch out for the explosive barrels. Oh, not that way. Oh, come on! These are a pain in the butt to deal with. Oh, really? Oh, come on! And this guy decided to follow me? Really? Got him. Let's teach this guy a lesson. And I'm out of healing. Mushroom. I'm not gonna rest just yet. Alright. Pick up a golden rune too. I still have my flask of wonders physic. As my last resort of healing. And here we can pick up a golden seed. And here's the Trina's lily. And there's the there's that troll we need to lure. Now before we go, but before we do that, going in here we find an NPC. You were a fine man. Your only mistake was your choice of muster. Let the winds lift you to a higher place. Here we can find a smithing stone one, four copies of them. Let's talk to her. Well, tarnished are you? I am Nefeli Lu. I'm here by the how Otis Graft is tainted the vote. So this is Nefeli Lu. If you intend I ask you call the winds I'm certain A has fellow town down whatever. A pass fellow down whatever. All right. Exhaust her dialogue, and then her summon sign will be available for the Godric fight. All right, now let's let's lure the, let's lure this troll down here. Get a little bit close enough for the troll to be alerted. All right, good. All right, now let's get, let's get him to follow us over here. All right, good. Let's make sure he's let's make sure he's on our tail. Come on, right this way. 
Watch out for the hyper voice. Hey, get over here. You're supposed to chase me down. All the way down here to the statue. Already cleared out the enemies. Good, he broke it. Now we need to do a couple of charged R2s. Ah, uh, stagger him. Oh, give me the critical. Oh, come on, give me the critical. There we go. Same thing. Got him. And the blood loss came just at the right time. And here we find smithing stone one, five of them, and a smithing stone two. All right. Now we're going to take that elevator. That's right by this grace. And down here, here we, we, I hear the sound of the crystal lizard. Let's get it. And we get an Ash of War called Stormcaller. Activate this summoning pool. And next we're going to grab this grace just straight ahead. And it takes us right behind those two exiled. I'm going to go ahead and rest so I can replenish my flasks. And now that I have enough golden seeds, I can get another charge. Now over there is the boss gate that takes us to fight Godric, but we're not ready for that yet. And here's Nefeli Lu's summon sign. And now we're going to go this way. Get my lantern on, because it's a little bit dark. Probably because of the time of day. And here we have some pots to deal with. There's an item over there they're guarding. But these pots decide to attack me, and the big one just woke up too. Oh, there's the big one. We got it. We, oh, the spinning top. Ah. And the spinning top attack. Let's let's get these pots out of the way. Here we have a living jar shard and some raw meat dumplings. Alright, let's grab this. It's a crack pot. And another crack pot. These three, they're not going to attack me. So I don't need to mess with them. Now we got more capacity for, for to craft more pots. Alright, and over here is some cook grease. Next, we're gonna jump up here. Go this way. Go this way. Jump. Now, we can jump down there. And there's really not gonna be anything worth because all we find is a Stormhawk and a Banished Knight. Warning, it's Fallen Comrade. But it's just there's, just, there's just an item there. No need to deal with them, but we can just sneak behind them and grab. A lump of flesh, three of them. I'm just gonna grab I'm just gonna grow grab that, sneak by them. Next we're gonna go this way. Heading up the stairs. We're at the upper level. We can jump to this platform, pick up a smithing stone two, three copies of them. And right over here, we're at the upper level. Grab the Trina's Lily. And here we have Golden Rune 2 and a Smithing Stone 1. Uh oh, now before we go down there, deal with these guys here. They're, they're, gonna, they're gonna throw rocks at you. They throw rocks at you. Alright, and now we got these guys. And these guys will throw rocks too. Once they wake up. 
Let's take care of them. You can easily stagger them just by rolling into them. And oh, there's one more. And right here is the Manor Tower shield. And here we have an, um, a developer message. Surely what you seek is, is somewhere close by. Here we have a Smithing Stone 3, our first another copy. Alright, now, so we're gonna go this way, and then make a drop down here. And there's a way, there's a safe part to land. Don't forget to grab this item. Um, you're gonna have to get in good position though. And it's a golden room five. And now we can grab the rainbow stone, five of them, before we go down there. And this will take us to the door we couldn't open. And it takes us back to the grace. And uh, I, I advise you to spend your runes. If you have this many runes on you, I advise you to spend them right now because we're going to go to somewhere dangerous. All right, let's get my endurance up. Let's get my endurance up. All right. Now we're going to go... First off, we're going to go down there. We're going to head across. We're going to deal with some bats. Here we find an arterial leaf. There's there's a couple more bats down below. Let's see if there's is there any item down there? No. Alright, so let's just jump back this way on these buttresses. Alright. Giving giving me an idea where to go next. Alright, we'll have to go down there. Right to where the bat is. Alright, there's the bat. Alright. Oh, there's another bat here. Alright, took care of the bats. Alright, nothing here. Alright, gonna head to this buttress. And then I'm gonna grab this item. It's a smithing stone too. Two copies of them. Alright, head down here for another item. Call the room two. Alright. And then we have we have some rats to deal with. We have some rats and a mama rat to deal with. Oh. Alright. And we have mama rat. Mama rat. Golden Rune 3, nice. Here's the Poison Bloom, and I hear a Crystal Lizard with... I hear a Crystal Lizard. Let's get it. This one will give us the Rancor Call. It's a it's an interesting spell. Alright. Now... Now for something dangerous and stupid. We, we're gonna have to deal with... with one of these things that we hate to fight. So I'm gonna get my fire grease. All right, this cat. Whenever you see, whenever you see this, which I'm about to show you. Wait for it. Once you see that thing, it makes you want to go. Oh hell no! Watch out for its AOE. That looks like a flamethrower. It's weak to fire and you can you can cause blood loss. Oh I staggered it. Where's the critical? Alright. We can one more should hit it. Damn. He moved. 
that was close. Good dodge. And we got him. I hate fighting these things. But it's worth it because we get a golden seed out of it. This ulcerated tree spirit. Here we have three smoldering butterflies. A stone sword key. And some throwing daggers. Now we're at the lowest level of Storm Veil. And, and right over here is a talisman. The Prince of Death's Pustule. Now, now whenever you're playing offline, there's only there's going to be this bloodstain. This is a unique bloodstain, so let's go and interact with this one. It appears that something happened to Sorcerer Roger. And it looked like he died by death blight. Or so or so he thinks. And you know what's creepy about this? You can see like these are these are it's like it's some sort of gigantic monster that's fossilized. And how gigantic was this? And it looks like that's the neck. Eyes, a nose. <sighs> wow. Kinda gives you the creepy vibes. Now we're going to climb the, a lo very long ladder. Now that was a very long climb, and look where we end up. Right back over here where we started. Now there is one path I haven't shown you, and it's just out here in the courtyard where we, de where we dealt with all those exiles, and ah, since I've rested, I've respawned them. <sighs> I should have just done that in the first place. Deal with this guy. Gonna go... Don't need to deal with them. We can just head down here. They'll easily break aggro. All we gotta do is just deal with a bunch of rats down here. Golden room one. And right here is the fireproof dry liver. And here we have a, I have a stone sword key to spend. And we can now go through here. On this chest, we get the God Slayer seal. And over here we find the Godskin prayer book. This will unlock a few incantations of Black Flame, but it's not really that impressive. And right out here, is a golden room four. All right, let's take a look around. Now yeah, we can't go down there, but we can drop down there. But I'll do that shortly. But however, over here there's a ladder that I can climb up. All right, and right over to my right is some arrows. And another ladder to climb. And we have two banished knights. Here's the festering blood bloody finger. Three of them. These are used to invade other players' worlds. Alright. This one that's unsuspecting. But the one over there will notice us. So I want to bring... Uh, it's going to notice us. So they're both going to aggro. By, not by choice. Ah. Dealing with both of them is going to be tough. Oh, oh, I gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Oh, get my fire grease out of there. Ah, I missed. Oh, this one, this one just shot a drag, a fire breath. We gotta get out of here now. How did that even catch me? 
Heal up now. That was close. Oh, come on. <laughs> ah, my step, my FP ran out. That's not. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, heal already, will ya? Let me get my FP back. There we go. One, one down. Oh. Damn, how did I survive that? I was in panic mode there. <laughs> okay. Now there's a bridge to cross. And watch out because there's some ballistic guys. Here's here's a, here's a couple exiles. Double kill. All right. Oh, here's the ladder. We can just climb up here. And we have a couple more exiles. Smithing stone, very nice. And right here we find a warrior's, nomadic warrior's cookbook, level level ten or volume ten. But right over here, oh no, oh no, that's my FP. All right, oh, we got a vanished knight and an exile, but it's not it's not worth wasting your time on them. You just you can just blow right past them, and this will take us. This will take you right back over here. All right, just a just a just a dead end, but nothing nothing to nothing to worry about. So we don't have to deal with these guys. All right, I'm gonna break through here. Just drop down there because we're gonna go down there and deal with some of the ballista guys. But as long as you're careful. All right, we should be able to jump over here. No. No, we should be able to jump. Let's see. All right, there's one over there. We should be able to jump down this way. I gotta be careful here. Look at that, you blew up your own guy. <laughs> they blew up their own guy. <laughs> Grab these Trina's lilies. All right. Now, th now this incline is gonna shield you from the ballista bolts. So we should be able to get to its position. All right, perfect. Let's get him out of the way. And here we can grab the arbalest and a unique crossbow. All right, now, now we can just drop down there. This guy's will be throwing fire bombs, but we'll get to him. We just need to find a way to safely drop. All right, we can. Nope, I'll have to just drop down here and go up there to him. Ah. Did I get shoved down there? Really? Okay, it's hard to fight up here. Height advantage. Smithing stone one. All right. As you can see, we got the three exiles over there, leading us back to the courtyard. And then heading down here... Heading down to there is a gauntlet, but... But we're gonna go back to the courtyard, and I have to I have to go through these guys again. But we were able to pull this one out first. Better to pull them one at a time to make this easier. Ooh, he, he dropped us the crescent moon axe. Very nice. Ow. All right, now heading up here, and we have to avoid the flames from this guy. And as we as we reach up there, we should be able to be, be within range to summon our skellies. Watch out for the bullet. Watch out for the flamethrower ballistas. But we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to run. We're just going to run right back to where we started, and right back down here. So now this time we're going to go take care of these guys in the ballistas. We just drop down here.
And here we find a smithing stone too. And now we got this guy heading towards us. We're going to deal with a lot of exiles. Coming up. Smithing stone one. Alright, we don't have to worry about getting shot at by the guys in ballistas. Smoldering butterfly. Alright. And... Was there a guy I missed? Or was it just a firebomb? Alright, doesn't matter. Let's go over here. And there's a grace, but... Let's not rest at it. Golden Room 5. I'm not going to rest at this grace. Otherwise, I will respawn the guys in the ballistas. And that would be dangerous. Here we find a commoner's simple garb. Fashion souls. And I'm going to go ahead and open this main gate. And then I believe a gatekeeper Gestock will become a merchant down the road. Okay, this guy just followed down. We'll deal with him. Now we're about to deal with a bunch of exiles. But I gotta be careful though, because I only have two heals left. And this many runes. Now, I gotta get I gotta pull I gotta pull the guy in the axe first. Not worried about the guys in crossbows. Alright. Good. Butterfly. Yep, there's gonna be there's a bunch of these guys. And over there, there is a lion. There's a lion beast. A lion blade. A lion blade beast. Out. We'll be dealing with that. I'm not gonna summon my spirits yet. I'm not summoning my spirits yet. Alright, mushroom. We got three more exiles. Man. There's just a lot of these guys. Alright, gotta be careful here. Double kill. Came at a good time. <laughs> Alright, that takes care of all these guys. And now, let's heal. Let's heal now, and let's summon our skellies. Because we're about to... Let me go... Ah, we're about to deal with that, with that lion. Grab this Trina's Lily. Now we got now we gotta deal with this with this beast. Now Come on, skeletons, help me out here. Oh, I'm stuck behind a pillar. Come on, skeletons. I didn't summon you out here for nothing. That was close. Gotta get my stamina back. And my FP is out. That's not good. I'm down to one heal. Oh, I better heal now. This is my last chance. He's just a few hits away. Or Got him. And we get a somber smithing stone. One, beast blood, and old fang. All right. <laughs> wow. And now let's go over here. We're going to go grab this grace. This begins the road to the Divine Tower, but we're not going to take that just yet. That's something that's for later. That is for later. Alright. Making sure how much I... Let's see. I believe I've covered as much as Stormvale as I can possibly cover. Alright. Alright. I pretty much got a lot... I pretty much got it covered. Yeah, all the enemies are dead. All the enemies are dead. Alright. I think we're about set to... I, I think we're about ready to take on Godric. Let's go ahead and rest. 
and spend all our runes. I think there was also an item I forgot. And it's a good thing I remember. I, always, I needed to double check to make sure I got everything covered. And I believe there's another item somewhere. One hawk out of the way. And now... Gotta deal with this other storm hawk. Ooh, got the soldier's crossbow. Alright. Golden seat's right there. And the item is just right over there. I'm gonna stay in sneak mode. Alright, it's right over here. And that's a smithing stone, too. I had a feeling there was an item over here. And I believe that should be everything. And now we should go fight Godric. Alright. <clears throat> Let's spend all of our runes so that we have nothing to lose. Gonna gonna make my dex gonna make this even of 18 strength and dex. Then I'm gonna get my endurance up to 20. <laughs> I have 191. Now you can choose to summon Lefeli Lu. You can summon Lefeli Lu if you want. But rather rather fight this one by myself. <laughs> Alright guys, this is it. This is going to be an epic, this is going to be an epic one. Mighty dragon. Thou art a true born heir. Lend me thy strength, O kindred. Deliver me unto greater heights. Well... I need to kneel to no one. Blood Grease on. It's on. First phase, watch out for the Axe Swings. Watch out for the Earth Shatter. Yeah. Earth, Earth Shaker. Yeah, some of the swings are delayed, so making, you, making it difficult to time your dodges. Blood loss. Oh, back up. That was close. I would have been dead. Now, right here, get a bunch, get as much hits as you can.
phase two. Now he grafted a dragon set into his severed arm. Quickly get behind him immediately. Oh, that delay. That delay's tough. Uh oh. I'll rebuff. Ah, oh, damn it. It breached. It caught me. Ah, oh, really? Blood loss. Oh, Earthshaker. You can actually jump dodge on the Earthshaker. Got him. Of all that is golden. And one day, we'll return together to our home, bathed in rays of gold. Demigod failed. By defeating Godric, we get Godric's Grey Rune and Remembrance of the Grafted. Now, the Remembrances are your boss souls, so that we can we can turn them in to get a boss weapon, or you can consume them. <laughs> now, what I forgot to do was my post-boss fight celebration, because since this was one of the main story bosses, I this fight was just absolutely by far... <laughs> <laughs> Sensational. <laughs> and I made so good, such good work of that boss. You know, it, it was so easy because it's free real estate. And since I defeated the boss, you know what time it is, right? It's guitar time. Hit it. That's how the white man plays guitar. All right, we take care of that. Now, if gate, if now if you left a live gate, gatekeeper Gustak, once you reset the area, you can see him stomping all over what Godric's head. Pathetic excuse for a lord you were, <laughs> craven to the bone, pushing me about like that, and after all that grafting, where did that get you? Look down. On me, would ya? Godric, you filthy slug. Feel it. Feel it. Feel my bloody wrath. He must feel good now, now that he's free from Godric. Oh. Hello there. This he got, I tell you though, he has. Yep, now he becomes a merchant. And he's, he's got some silver pickle foul foot. Oh, and uh, he does have a buckler, you know, it's got the best parry frames. And he does have some gar some garbs, so let me go I'm gonna go ahead and buy these. Alright. We are done here. And then but be, but we're not gonna go I'm not gonna go that way just yet, because now that we have now that we have Godric's great rune, we can let's head back to Round Table Hole. But I got, but let me spend my runes first. All right, let's get my endurance up. All right, let's head back to Round Table Hold. Now, once you arrive at Round Table Hold. After defeating Godric, this these doors are now open. We can now head inside. And we can talk. Are you that new You've done no way. I interpret. Let's then great anchor until it was a tragic across the far but the great so great seek to become a little. Well, <laughs> So this is finger reader Enya. Right here, you can you can choose to turn in your the remembrances by if you when you cash in the remembrance of Godric the Grafted, we could choose to get the we could choose to get you know we can choose to get the either the axe of Godric or the Grafted Dragon, and it's got a unique 
unique weapon arts, like the Crafted Dragon's weapon art is the Bear Witness. It just it just launches flame. It's just a flamethrower, and and then this one is the the Earthshaker Slam. I command thee, kneel. But I'm not going to use that just yet. And then you can get some information about great runes. Alright, and now this is the two fingers. Looks kind of creepy, doesn't it? And then we can touch the two fingers, and we can get the Rapture emote. Alright. And now... Next we're going to talk to Gideon. Gideon will now recognize you. After defeating Godric, he will now recognize you well and and, int and properly introduce himself. You've received the then I bid you. I am known as a tarnished to I. You now belong. You'll be after then as you're the inheritor. We of the Godric the General, the greater right, more got, and you'll still be after. And Gideon and Sir Gideon Ofnir, the All Knowing, he can give you information about all these other demigods. But right now. What did, now that we have Godric's Great Rune, it's time to activate its true power. So we're going to head to the Grace over here at the Limgrave Tower Bridge. Alright. And right over here, we can pick up a Bolt Drake Talisman. Increases your lightning resistance. And the Divine Tower of Limgrave is just up ahead. But along the way, we're going to run into these Guardian Golems that are just waking up. <laughs> and now the, the, the Archer, the one in the back, will be shooting at us as well. But you can, you can, however, get these Golems to hit each other. We can get these Golems to hit each other. I staggered him. I did. I did not realize I staggered that one. Let's see. Let's see. We, let's see if we can get this one to shoot at his own. Come on. Ugh. Oh, nice shot. And he staggered him for me. Oh, come on. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Really? Man, I didn't watch. Wow. Guardian Golem. So you don't have to fight them. You don't have to fight them. You don't have to fight them, but I don't want them in my way. Ah! I took a risk right there. He actually hit his own guy. I can get the critical. One golem is down. Ah, I mistimed it. Oh, staggered him. I gotta be careful, though. The one with the great nose is shooting at me. Give me the critical! Damn it! Damn it! I had the critical right there! Oh, that's the flamethrower. I didn't realize that. Wait for it. Wait for it. Come on. Ugh! Oh, the Rock Sling. Got him. Got the finish, though. Now we can go deal with that Archer. Yeah. Pain in the butt, huh? You can use these to take cover from the Great Arrows. Let's take cover behind this one. Alright, let's deal with this Guardian Golem. It can't- it's trying to shoot into the dirt. Stagger ya. Oh no, it's on the right, damn it! Run, will ya? And we got some great arrows. Guardian golems are down. 
And now, in order to get there, there is the portal. We can go take the portal. This portal takes us to the other side. Now before we go in, let's look over here. We can fight we can kill a lot of birds here, but there's a few but a few of them are stormhawks, like this one. These are just regular stormhawks. But they are hostile, they will attack. Hmm. Feel, feels like feels like fighting zombie vultures in seven, the new Seven Days to Die. <laughs> the zombie birds. We, we can get plenty of feathers here. Here we find a silver pickle file foot. And let's see, is there anything else over at the end? Mm, nope. Oh, here it is. And that's a stormhawk feather. Five of them. Alright, here we are. Now we can go open these doors and we enter the Divine Tower of Limgrave. And now let's take the elevator. Now that we made it to the top, like this grace. And then we get to go all the way here. And this is where we now activate Godric's Great Rune. And now let's restore the power. And now we get Godric's action active now we get Godric's great rune. So let me show you. I'm going to show you before we wrap up the episode. I'm going to go show you about great runes. Let me rest here. All right, now. Now we have the op now we have an option of great runes, and this is where we're going to choose one of the great runes we have collected throughout our adventure. And we're gonna go ahead and select Godric's Great Rune. Now, this will now this is a very good one to have because it will increase all our it will give us plus five to all our attributes. Once you put it on, it's not working just and it's not working. Why? Because we need to activate it. And in order to activate the power of the Great Rune, we need to consume rune arcs. Unfortunately, I don't have any rune arcs. Now to get rune arcs, they are rare drops from rats. And you, you you also get rune arcs by 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 doing by invading other players and killing and killing the host, or assisting other players in defeating the boss. So I'm gonna spend some time off camera to farm some to do, to get to try and get some rune arcs and help and assist other players. So yep, gorgeous view ahead. But just one, but that's all the time I got for this episode of the walkthrough. Thank you all so much for tuning in, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. It really does help the channel out. If you are new to the channel, and if you love my content and would love to support me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification. Stay up to date on all my latest activities. You may be meaning to tell me you've been watching my videos and you're not subscribed? Hit the subscribe button! <laughs> you don't want to miss out on some of the amazing content I have to offer. Trust me, your time will be worth it. 
I do have a Discord server that you are more than welcome to join. The link is in the description box if you'd like to connect with me and my Starman fam. I post updates there. I sometimes hold community live streams there on Discord. Trust me, we'll make you feel right at home. I do have a merch store over at the Galaxy Hound website. The link is also in the description box if you'd like to browse through some Starman apparel. I would love to see you guys fly my flag. Now, if, you, if you'd like to support me more personally, you can become a YouTube channel member just by, click, just by clicking the join button next to the subscribe. YouTube channel members, my VIPs, will get a special badge next to the screen name and access to my custom emotes for my, for my live streams and video premieres here on YouTube. First information on up, first info on upcoming new content I plan to bring to the channel, and I have some higher level tier perks for for higher level members that feature early access to my latest videos up to one week in advance and exclusive content. Thank you all so much for all the love and the support you have given me. It really does mean a lot. You guys are so amazing. I can't thank you guys enough for being part of this amazing community. That's going to do it for this episode of the walkthrough, and I will see you guys next time for some more Elden Ring walkthrough. Remember, rise up, be blessed, and smile. <laughs>